Hey guys, welcome back. Today, detail painting uh, for the inside of my White Knight prototype. I'll be testing out these AK Interactive so-called third generation water-based acrylics. So they've come out just fine. Uh, first things is that upon shaking them, there's, let's need the mic. It sounds like Vallejo, fine. Um, there's no, no, uh, no real scent just yet. You know how the Vallejo ones, um, they do have some perfume added to them. I, I, I don't mind it. I find that they smell pretty, um, I'll put it out here. I find that they smell pretty uh, pleasant. So this is an intense paint. And th this one, along with the white, they've both come out very, um, very consistent, especially for a brand new one. You know how the brand new ones in other brands, okay, come out a little, you know, they're, they're not mixed that you don't end up getting good mixes right off, the, right off the bat until you've had them for a little while. So that's pretty good. It's like about 95% mixed. This gimmick is okay. Uh, it is actually nice to kind of eyeball it to see what color you're pulling out of your box. Dark sea blue. I'm really happy they sent me this one. It's one of my favorites in the equivalent uh, Valeria model color. We'll see how close it is. Oh, so now this one uh, is not mixed well. That's about, it's like a Vallejo, man. This is uh, maybe 20% mixed. A couple more drops, see how we go. There we go. Okay. By the third drop, uh, it's 100. Cool. Oh yeah, we'll do the, the little lid thing while we're at it. The consistency looks nice already. Like it looks, looks smooth and appealing. Uh, is that just marketing hype selling me on it already? And then we'll go for a light color, this light pale blue. Now also, I mean, if I was really being fair, I do tend to shake the Vallejo model colors more first. And once these, yeah, okay, cool. That looks really nice. Let's start off with the, let's go off with white. The first, in, go with an intense color first. Some water. All right, so Winsor Newton size one. Nice wet brush. Okay. Ah, uh, you know I can't tell. But looks looks good. So far so good. I mean, to me, if it's if this was just Vallejo model color inside a better bottle, I would still be sold. I'll, I'll be really blunt about that. I just think this bottle design looks better. Okay. Yeah, you can tell the coverage is not quite the same here and it is more translucent. That's off-white, which is useful. It's good to know. And then ivory. Okay. Looks nice. Now let's try a few detail spots. Here's one I prepared earlier. I've been planning to put on some spots. Uh, let's go with the off-white lower on the piece because they should be more in shadow down here. Okay. Maybe a little more paint. Okay, looks all right. Okay, I can't really tell with this yet. So let's go with bright white on the top. But I mean, maybe I can't tell because it's smooth. I'm happy to also give it that as, a, as an idea. Let's go with the intense color. Well, it doesn't have the chalkiness so far of other whites like this, but I'm nervous to sign off. Maybe I accidentally added 
exactly the right amount of water. I mean, it happens, right? Okay, I'll try a slightly bigger piece next. I'm going to stay with the uh, the intense one. It seems that I, I would estimate just now, uh, based on the feel, that I'm thinning them less than other brands. Okay. Now, now we're cooking. Yeah, that is way smoother than with an equivalent, say, you know, just a normal white from Vallejo Model Color. Way, way smoother. I can feel it as we go up in size now. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll see how it dries and come back and paint over. Okay. But yeah, that's uh and I started with white because you guys know white is the biggest pain in the you know where for, for hand brushing with water-based acrylics, so cool. Let's test ivory. Yep. Uh, back of the hand here. So now this is a not intense paint. Low intensity paint? Not sure. Okay. Deep. Interesting. Not quite like a performance, but you know, nice smooth hand brushable paint. This will require a couple of layers, but let's see how it dries. That's the important one. For layering, it's all about that drying, isn't it? I've got no idea whether I'm going too thick or too thin here. And you paint different properties. So I'll leave it a little rough like that on purpose, just to see what we get. And I might go with white. Do I want bright white behind it or off white? Let's go with off white in behind it. in here. I'll put it on reasonably thick just to see what we get. That'll tell us how it dries. Give us a look at its uh, leveling properties. So far so good, it's looking quite nice. Okay, set aside, looking pretty good. Now, put it up down so it doesn't touch, yep, cool. Now how are we on the bright white? Should be dry by now. Whoa, okay, yes. So far so good, that's a it's a uh, tentative thumbs up on the uh, intense white. Go for a second coat now. Hmm. This is often when white starts to look really bad. You know how it kind of chalks up and uh, starts to look thick and gluggy, especially if you put it on a little thicker like I'm doing. But uh, that is looking pretty good. I mean, if white works well, we know that the rest will be pretty good because they just... I'm really losing the point on my brush. I'm not licking my brush. 
I'm not. Oh, look at that, it's pointy again. <laughs> Come on, we'll do it. Yes, I'm putting it on pretty, not thick in terms of the paint being thick, but the, the, the dilution here is, yeah, there we go. Can you get a pretty good close up there? Looking nice and smooth. Great, colors. Hey guys, really good news. YouTube has unlocked memberships for the channel. Hey, they know that monetization through the advertising, it's a bit of a joke, especially since Adpocalypse. So this is really good of them and I do appreciate it a great deal. You can sign up on desktop by mashing the join button, but it's a little trickier on the mobile app, you know, almost as if they tried to hide it. You'll need to follow the link in the video description. Benefits for you include badges next to your name in your comments so that we know you're a Paint on Plastic channel supporter. Plus, just like on Patreon, you can watch the full length extended cut versions of the new videos. That's what's playing in the background for you now. You can watch them here while staying on the site or in the app, but heads up, there aren't as many perks on offer, sadly. Patreon is still the best deal for you all around and you can access that one from the link in the description as well. Thanks a bunch always for the support. That's what enables me to make this content for you and grow our community. Please visit HobbyGo because that's my local hobby shop. And here's a shout out to the epic Paint on Plastic Brobots and the Paint on Plastic supporter community. You guys make this content possible. Thank you so very much. Please visit paintonplastic.com because I've got loads more cool stuff for you. Thanks, bye.